In our last video, we talked about the basic concepts of playing against anti, or playing against long picks. Today, I'd like to talk about 10 tactical considerations of long pips and anti. Oftentimes when we think about playing styles, we're like, well, we should play against the choppers like this, or we should play against the blocker like this, or we should play against the lobber like this. But what we have to remember is that each player has different tendencies. They each have different strengths, different weaknesses, different game patterns that they play. So there's 10 questions here, actually 10 and a half questions, that I want you to ask yourself um, before or as you're playing against the long pips and anti player. So the first question is their equipment. On their forehand and backhand side, what kind of equipment do they have? They need to hand you the racket and you can test the friction with the ball to see what kind of anti or long pips they have, to see how much bounce it has. You need to be able to check their equipment first. Second thing is their overall style. Is it offensive or defensive? For both pips and anti players, um, they do have offensive versions of those players and defensive. And the next thing is forehand. On their forehand side, the main way that they win points, is it by keeping it in play or is it by hitting winners past you? The next thing is on backhand, their main concept with backhand, is it just to keep the ball in play or are they actually looking to hit winners? Now, let's say for example, they hit the ball 50 times in a game with their backhand and 48 times they just keep it in play and two times they go for winners. We can t t tuck that away in our memory going, okay, he can attack with the backhand, but his strong preference is to win the bulk of his points by keeping it in play. The next thing is, does he play near the table? Does he play far from the table or does he play both? That's a, it's a main tactical consideration because you have to realize that every foot back you go further from the table, the court gets about a foot and a half wider. So if you're playing somebody that's playing very close to the table, your tactics are gonna be different from somebody who plays further back because the court gets wider the further back you go. Next thing is middle preference. If you hit the middle transition point, where is his middle? For some players, let's say they're playing long pips in the backhand, maybe they just put long pips in the backhand because they're forehand dominant, so they're really looking to play a lot of forehand. Maybe other people, they're looking to play mostly backhand on the table, so their middle transition point is gonna be further over. This is something to consider. Because a lot of times when people think, hit the middle transition point, they think hit the white line in the middle of the table, but that's not actually the transition point. Next thing is, long serve receiving preference. So when you or an opponent serves long against them, what's their preference? Do they, do they like to loop the long serve? Do they go back and chop the long serve? Do they kind of block it or chisel it right off the bounce? What about their preference for short serves? When you serve short to them, do they bump it back with the pips or anti? Do they push deep? Do they flip? What do they do on the short serve? The next one is twiddle. Do they spin their racket and twiddle? Maybe they'll play one backhand with inverted. Maybe they'll twiddle and play one backhand with long pips. So do they know how to twiddle? Is that something that they do regularly? The next thing that you have to consider is your own strengths. So, in addition to thinking about tactical considerations about them, you can't forget about your own strengths. If your main thing is your forehand loop, you have to think, how can I get my forehand loop into play? For example, if you're playing a long pips blocker, and here we are just pushing short backhand to backhand to backhand to backhand, you're not using your strength, right? So maybe we'll serve deep backspin, deep into the backhand, maybe a little chop long, and then you can get your forehand loop in play. So while you're thinking about tactical considerations as far as they, their style, you also have to consider your own game and think, how can I get my strengths into play? And then the last thing. This is, you come up with your own. I gave you 10 tactical considerations, but there's a lot more. I'm sure you can come up with one. If we actually sit down and think about it for a day, we could probably come up with 100 to 200 tactical considerations when playing long pips or anti. So I want you to come up with your own and I want you to send me a message when you come up with one of your own tactical considerations. Make sure you check out my website, samsonavina.com, for more free articles and videos that's gonna help your game progress this year. Thanks for watching.